because of my college, but hey, you know, <laughs> super excited to be here. Happy uh, June 1st. Is it June 1st? It yeah. is. Finally made it to June. Six months passed and uh, you're ready to start the next half of the, the year. Um, super excited to be here. Alfred Ojuku. My name is Alfred Ojuku. Uh, I am what they call a Microsoft hardware specialist, a Surface specialist to be more specific. And uh, today, you know, I'm really excited to be joined here with Michael. So, Michael. Mike Chinati, I am a, uh, this year, I, I don't know what it's going to be going in the new year, but Teams Technology Specialist <laughs> to, to be determined what the name will be for our FY next. He's our resident expert when it comes to Microsoft Teams. And, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're teaming up again today because we really want to just take a, take a moment to introduce you guys to to us and many of you guys probably know michael right every michael is the man he, he does a lot of amazing content and um and in some ways i i'm almost sort of borrowing him because of his knowledge his expertise in the field and his ability to sort of blend in with what we do um and, and uh share with you guys a little bit more around the hardware world of microsoft right um you, everyone knows office 365 everyone knows azure everyone knows you know, all of these great technologies, Word, PowerPoint, we talk about those all the time. But sometimes I think sometimes we forget that Microsoft is also a hardware company. So we've done a lot of work on the surface side. Um, and so that's what we want to kind of dive in today. But before we go too far, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm, you know, again, Alfred Ojuku. I've been in Microsoft for about 10 years now. I've done everything from Windows to Windows 10 to mobile device management to security. Uh, and the last five years or so, I focused on healthcare, uh, and so that's kind of why I'm excited to be here. And uh, Mike Chinati, I'm like I said, Teams technology specialist, uh, but really anything Office 365 or Microsoft 365. Been around over 20 years. The company. I actually, I don't know if you knew this, Alfred, in a prior lifetime in my at Microsoft. Uh, for a while, I was what they call a media center, Microsoft media center and media champion. Uh, so I used to cover media center on the side. They would send me, I actually was the keynote speech in Chicago one year uh, for that and for Zoom and for all those other, you know, early pre-surface days of hardware, uh, but covering all that way back when. So I love hardware because for me, and this is why I'm excited to participate with Alfred in this, you know, we talk all, I talk all the time about the services, but it always comes back to how the hardware can light up the services and provide the optimal experience. And so that's why I'm here. No, that's it. And that's good to hear. Um, I think uh, it just makes it for an interesting conversation because when you put the two of us together, and I'll share my screen here for half a second, when you put the two of us together, um, the conversation sort of shifts towards the, um, oh, I love it, this is perfect, the, the modern workplace, right? So yeah. when we talk about yep. the modern workplace, um, so there. All right, you guys should be able to see that. When we talk about yep. the modern workplace, um, you know, this, you'd always want to call, call this my desk, right? You can see all the information there. Um, a place that you can actually get work done where people are actually just being more mobile and being able to move around. Um, and, so, and notice that Surface just fits into that space. So it's not, it doesn't end up just being about the software, it doesn't just end up being about the, the physical space, but the actual technologies and solutions that sort of just blend in. So the question mm -hmm. we ask you individually and collectively is what does your modern workplace look like? What is it that you do to get work done? How does it look? How does it feel, right? Um, and then blending that together with the application layer, right? The area that um, Michael really, you know, can tell this story around is how do we help you be more productive? Um, you know, that, that's just my, my thoughts. And that's kind of what we want to spend the time today talking about. Uh, any thoughts, Michael? Yeah, no, just, you know, like, you know, I'm sitting here right now. I'm on my... Uh... Uh, I almost said Surface laptop, but it's my Surface book. Um, and so, you know, I have everything I need. I can take it on the go. I can disconnect, go into a tablet mode if I want to go just curl up on the couch or better yet, now that it's warm out, out on my back deck. 
uh, without having to carry the whole uh, unit. But then when I need to do like, here's where I do my video editing. We're doing a Teams meeting. You know, I do webcasts off of this box. So it's a powerhouse that also then provides me the comfort and the portability of a tablet when I need to, you know, just provide for that. And it's, I guess it's those kind of experiences a lot of people don't think about. Simple things like I'm looking right now at your at the view there in the pen, um, just annotating during a, a presentation and doing stuff with that. That's all. Yeah. The, the, you know, it, we take it for granted. And so yep. I, I, I call it, and you've got to admit, the modern workplace is changing, right? The things that you used to do yesterday, how you thought about data, how you thought about, you know, where your space was, is starting to change. And as Mike just mentioned, that, like I can sit here and draw on my presentation to you at the same time and having the conversation. How much more powerful is that? you know, where you would point to somebody and say, hey, this is PowerPoint and check this content out. Now it's right there with me as I'm telling you a story, right? So um, the fact that you're using Office 365, you're using OneDrive, you're using all these technologies to, to drive innovation, um, it helps you to be better at making decisions, right? Mm -hmm. um, we also know that with all of the pandemic that's passed, um, again, we're recording this in 2021, um, we're starting to see fewer cubicles and spaces that people are actually having to figure out ways to stay connected and work together, right? And the expectations to be as creative as possible, you know, what you draw, how you draw, what you want to share with people is becoming a, a standard, an expectation, right? Um, and so- Wait, I got a question. You drew that with big ears. Is that in reference to the- <laughs> no, I was actually thinking about Spock, right? Spock, um, you know, the fact that Spock and the Star Trek, these guys are, you know, the final frontier, you know. Yeah. What's it, what's it, what is it they used to say all the time in Spock, you know? Um, Live long and prosper? But... No, the one about traveling anywhere, or, you know, um, discovering new worlds and discovering oh, new... Boldly go where no boldly one has gone go before. where no one, exactly. So that's what Microsoft is starting to do. We're starting to boldly go where no one else has ever been and, and challenging you to push yourself to the edge. And that's what this is. People are used to certain hardware, they're used to certain functionalities, and we're always trying to step up and say, how can you do it better, faster, more efficient, and allow the technology to fade in the background, right? Um, and that's kind of what this is about for us, right? It's not just about the device, it's about making sure that everything just works better together, right? Um, you know, I love the fact that I spent a lot of time with Janati and I hear the stories around what we're doing at Teams and now that, you know, the Viva conversation, I know that's been huge, huh, Mike? That's been, uh, yeah, all consuming lately. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But, but, but in, in most importantly, it's the idea that you know, we're, we're adding features that, that really allow you to be more productive. And here's another example where I'm able to change my teams, my, my theme on, on teams and have the content to the side versus, you know, being embedded in there. These are things that we weren't able to do five years ago, 10 years ago. Now they're just natively part of the solution and where you can tell the story as you move on. Right. And and what better way to do that than to have it on performant hardware? That's what it comes down to. We want to yes. build it into the hardware so that when you're experiencing it, the you know you're getting better experiences. And that's what Surface is. That's what Surface is. It's a best-in-class solution. It's essentially built with some of the best cameras, right? Intel RealSense cameras give you the ability to log in with Windows Hello, where you're confusing art and science in there. It's got great microphones. I know you guys may not know this, but I'm actually running this on the Surface Hub. Uh, how many people know what a Surface Hub is? I guess don't raise your hand because you're probably listening to this on a podcast. But this is a Surface Hub. It's a 50-inch device, 50-inch device <laughs> running full Windows 10 Enterprise, running my PowerPoint, recording the content. The audio sounds great. It's not like I'm you know, in you know, some other country speaking to you. Um, the hardware and the software just work great together, right? You know, it, you can tell that the speakers, they're, they're, they're built in such a way, and I'm going to uh, turn my, my, my video back on so you can kind of see where I'm at. They're built in such a way 
where I am essentially, it's picking up everything that's being said to me uh, with the speakers, right? Without doubt, you can see the pen here. I can draw all day long. We, we have uh, almost near zero latency where mm -hmm. as I'm drawing, the content just stays with me. I, you won't find this in a lot of other devices. Oh, wait a second, I can actually erase too. It's the little things. It's the little things. It is. Well, you mentioned another one, right? You just mentioned, uh, for example, the Windows Hello. And I have an older device that was a personal family one from a number of years ago. Uh, it's not a Surface uh, device. It it's a partner one, but it's a Microsoft Windows. It's an old Windows 8 that's been upgraded. I can't. I'm, the, I, you know, I always, I'll sit there and I'm like, okay, wait, wait, oh, wait, I got to go, I got to go actually t type to log in. Because when I, in the morning when I join, I just turn on my computer. I'm sitting here drinking coffee and doing stuff and it sees me and boom, I'm in because it knows this. Right, right. And, and that's the beauty of it is everything, every element of it is orchestrated for uh, what one would consider an elegant experience. You know, yeah. I want to be able to just grab my laptop, pop it open, and automatically allow me to get into the system. That's so, what this is. So as we go through this with the modern, you know, workplace experience and how folks can use those um, in different scenarios, I know we're going to be talking solutions, right? So, or scenarios, I should say, mm -hmm. uh, use cases. Um, but are we going to span the whole uh, breadth of the <clears throat> kind of that hardware surface lineup? So everything from the the one, the little one I saw that they just gave gaming controls on. Oh, or, yeah. Uh, the duo. yeah to, all the way up to the hub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm going to put my uh, um, my Yoda, baby Yoda. Uh, uh, face on and say we got to be patient because there's a lot of hardware to go through. It and is. As we go through it, we'll spend a session each going over through what each one of the hardware is and does and how it works. Um, yep. And again, the intention is to give enough time and attention to understand why Microsoft, why we built a certain product. And we'll start all the way from the eight inch Surface Duo yep. and we'll move all the way to the Surface Hub, which is an 85 inch, um, you know monster beast of a conference room solution. Um, so awesome. all of that is essentially built to give you the best experience possible, right? We want to make sure that you have a great experience. And one thing that you'll see across all the devices, and this is kind of cool too, is they all have the same three by two aspect ratio. They're all built for performance. And again, I, and I'm explaining this to say that, um, you know, this is a, what I would consider intelligent design. Um, mm -hmm. We've taken a lot of surveys from individuals, uh, from users, feedback from people like you to understand what is the optimal framework for a device like this. How do I get you the best experience? How do I get you enough room so that you can feel like you're getting a lot done? And so that three by two aspect ratio you'll see across the board from a 10 inch device all the way to the 85 inch device. It gets you a great experience across the board. <clears throat> On a device like the Surface Book 3, what you'll see is that there's a camera that's built in the front and the back, where there's a 5 meg megapixel facing camera or an 8 megapixel facing camera. Uh, say that three times fast. Um, we've, we've really get, gotten a chance to build that innovation and fuse it into the technology. So what, we're, we'll talk about that. And again, I'm sharing this because and this is, you know, again, the reason why Mike and I are doing this is because I think people have been sleeping on what Surface is. I really yeah. think an understanding of why we've spent so much time building this product line in the last eight to 10 years has almost sort of gone silently unnoticeable, right? Um, and so from a functionality standpoint, from the way it integrates with the platform, the Windows side of the world, the Office 365, you start to see a different story. Mm -hmm. You do, and you're just talking right now, and we haven't even talked about like all the Surface peripherals and my favorite mouse here that I'm using right now. Yeah, I love exactly. it because all I do yeah. is go poop, and it's off, and it doesn't run out of battery. Again, little things, right? Mm -hmm. um, so there's just so much to cover, but I think that's 
you know, getting into, you know, the why and how and all that, that's going to be, you know, for us, I think that's what excites me. And then talking also how in healthcare, how this all yeah. gets lit up. Uh, that's yeah, gonna be exactly. So you'll see that progression. But first, uh, what the message that I want to give today to the audience and to the listeners mm -hmm. is, listen, um, you know, I think if you haven't had a chance to use a Surface device, you should at least get a chance to see what it can do. If yeah. you run by Best Buy and you happen to see a Surface Duo, a Surface uh, laptop, a Pro 7, a book, play with it. See what it can do. Notice the responsiveness of it. Um, understand what it's doing from a hardware perspective. Microphones are great. I mean, that's what I love about it. And then, you know, start to ask yourself, what could you actually do that helps you, helps you to be more uh, yeah. performant on these devices? You know, and, and so as the weeks go by, you'll see us go more and more into the content uh, and learn more and more about what we do from a hardware perspective and get a better understanding of what's going on. So, yeah, I think that's important. The, the other thing I want to bring up on our first session, uh, actually two other things, and then we'll dive into it is, um, you know, Right now, we're looking that Mike and I are looking for an idea of what would be a great name for the product, product itself. Uh, for the, not the product, the product, um, the, the sessions, so the series. Um, right now, we have a Surface Podcast series. So if you, if you think you have a good suggestion on the name of the series, throw it out there for us, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And throw out questions. And questions as well. Because um, that's... And, yeah. And, and so I think it's going to be great to hear your feedback, great to hear your thoughts, great to hear your suggestions, um, because, again, that's going to help us build a better story. The other thing I want to mention, which most people don't really talk about is, well, they're not talk about. This is something that's been going on in a while now, is the, the current situation, the uh, economical climate for the hardware world. Um, and I say this because... What we're starting to notice right now is uh, there's been a shortage, a shortage, a shortage, a shortage. <laughs> See, that's uh, and, shortage. Yeah, shortage. yeah, shortage. Uh, it reminds me of uh, uh, Max Hedrum. Remember Max Hedrum? I know I'm kind of dating myself. <laughs> the, the old Coke, Coke commercials. Um, and um, basically what we're noticing is that there's been a shortage in chip and glass and this yeah. has been going on since last year so many of you guys may be aware of it but what happened last year was during the time of covid uh there was a mad dash for hardware um where people uh were expecting to get the hardware looking for and basically take advantage of it because everyone was going to be working remotely everyone was going to be on the road and so hardware became one of those top seller items now with that the glass uh, industry, you know, overproduced. The chip industry also did what they didn't need to do to produce. But what happened is the anticipation that people would be working from home caused them not to drive continued production. Everybody with me so far? Fast forward to 2021. What happens, Michael, right? So at that in 2021, that shortage continued and the expectation was demand would dis you know, uh, would decrease in terms of what people needed when in <laughs> fact it actually increased. Exactly. So what we ended up seeing or noticing was an increased demand in hardware yeah. to the point where we now have a shortage in chips and shortage yeah. in glass. So I'm saying that all to say that we are experiencing that across the board. I don't care which hardware you have. And there is going to be a need for you to essentially identify what you're looking for this is a great time to start exploring and seeing what's good out there this is where surface comes into play awesome so any last things i gotta exit i have a meeting we all do bumping into <laughs> that i know we were talking about but uh yeah so you know and i, I want to throw out on that chip thing i've had people you know say oh come on it's real. We started looking at autos. And because the modern cars are all running chips, right? And the silicon, guess what? There's a shortage of new cars. Yep. And there's a shortage of the chickens. There's a shortage of ketchup. There's a shortage of, of, of boxes. 
I mean, it's, we, every, we were, I mean it, it, it's it's like a it just goes boom 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 boom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So anyway, we thought it was great to share that. And um, again, we're starting a series. We're looking for your feedback. We're looking for your participation. Yeah. We hope that this first session has been at least helpful to sort of get you intrigued as we go into some of these other topics around hardware and, um, you know, gain your interest, right? Um, we want to hear from you. What do you like? What do you not like? You know, what do you want to hear about? And uh, we'll definitely be here to listen and and share our experiences and our knowledge around our, you know, what we've done with our customers. Other than that, that's all I have for the first session. Uh, Michael, anything you wanted to add? I'm, I, well, I'll say this, I'm very excited because I just found out I'm probably getting a, for myself personally, a new Surface laptop. <laughs> oh, you are? Which one? Um, The three. Oh man, not the four. Maybe it's the four. I don't know. Probably it's the four. The, it's the, yeah, it, whatever's out now. Uh, my Oh, that's right, because my daughter has a three. Yeah, so you probably have, I get you to probably catch get up to her. It, it, double check the paperwork. Make sure they're getting you a four. It's definitely worth it. And we'll, we'll, we might actually cover it backwards. We might start from the most popular device and and then go on from there. Not that they're, anyone's less popular than the other, but you know, the most common device that people use is a laptop for. So. Other than that, guys, thank you for joining, and we will catch up with you on our next uh, uh, session. Have a All good right. one, everyone. Bye.